In this video, I'm going to show you an endothermic reaction between um, ammonium chloride and barium hydroxide. Um, so I've got my thermometer in here so we can keep track of the temperature. It's currently reading um, about 18 degrees in the lab. And um, I love this experiment because this is basically what we call bucket chemistry. You just chuck a load of stuff in the beaker. Barium hydroxide in there. Nice. And then I need to get some ammonium chloride in there. And we can see that these two are at the moment um, both in quite the, the white powders. Not very interesting white powders, quite a lot of stuff comes as. Um, a white powder and this is starting to absolutely stink um, ammonia pongs basically so I'm just going to mix this up and um, it's quite hard to mix at first because I'm trying to mix two powders together one of which um, is quite lumpy and the other one of which is quite fine so I don't really want to mix up these my thermometer case okay, is really really starting to pong quite strongly of ammonia now um, mixing these up and if I feel it, it, it still feels room temperature. It feels room temperature. It doesn't really feel cold or anything. Um, <clears throat> it just feels normal. And you can see, <coughs> this is really smelly. And you can see these two are starting to come together now and um, it's a bit hard for you to see in there but they're not powdery. It's kind of, it's kind of like a bit of a mush at the moment and if um, well, temperature has already dropped to, if I can just bring that um, closer and try and show you, the temperature has already gone below minus 10 on this. Um, so I'll take the thermometer out so I don't break the thermometer now um, and go back to using a spatula. So this is quite hard to stir, but it's actually turning into a liquid form. There we go. It's gone completely liquid. Now the two of them are mixed, and if I show you that, um, you can actually see it's liquid and it's going to start to pour. And just to prove to you that it is actually cold, I've got a wooden block here and I've got some water. So I'm just going to pop um, a drop of water under there, put the mixture back on, <coughs> and then hopefully um, I should be able to lift up, not quite yet. I should be able to lift up the um, beaker, lift up the bit of wood using a bit more water on there maybe to help it out. Give it a bit of a stir again. So this um, reaction actually drops down to about minus 30 and it, it's really hard for me to touch um, here because it really does feel very, very cold. And ta-da! I'm able to lift up the block of wood using the beaker because the reaction has got so cold it's um, frozen the wood to the beaker. And that is an endothermic reaction, it's taking energy in from its surroundings. And it's a very sticky endothermic reaction. <coughs> it smells like really old baby's nappies. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.